It's Wall to Wall Country, Walls 102. It's Dog and Fox in the morning. Friday's my favorite day of the week, and that's because we check in with Chad Ario. It's Mr. Seatonville, a big time rant from a small town guy. What do you got for us this morning, Chad? When did we become a nation of pigs? <laughs> Every time I go out into this world, it seems like people care less and less about what they look like in public. I mean, we certainly cared about what we looked like when we were teenagers. I mean, Nowadays, boys spend more time in their hair than a 40-year-old bridesmaid. <laughs> and they use so much Axe body spray that they smell like an 80-year-old lady nobody wants to sit next to in church. <laughs> and girls, I mean, parents start dressing them like little prostitutes when they're two years old. So that by the time they hit high school, they're showing more skin than they're actually covering up. Mm-hmm. And I think that's where the problem starts. By the time these kids become adults, they're so, they've been so high maintenance that they just stop caring. I mean, they just give up. <laughs> if, you, if you don't believe me, go to Walmart on a Saturday. <laughs> I, ran, I ran into a girl from high school who was Little Miss Popularity back in the day. Name brand clothes, perfect hair, the makeup, the whole picture. Now it was 4.30 in the afternoon, and she's wearing pajama pants, yep. a Miller Lite t-shirt, and flip-flops. <laughs> Sounds you know about kind right. Of, you know what kind of message I get from that outfit? You're not only too lazy to shower, you're still in PJs. You're also probably wearing dirty underwear. <laughs> Two minutes later, I see a 300-pound woman wearing a pair of sweatpants that say juicy across the butt. I think sweaty would have been more appropriate. <laughs> and men aren't much better. I saw a guy in Walmart with so much crack hanging out the back of his pants, I think he kept his Walton keys in there. <laughs> hey, Jabba, pull up your pants, put on a belt, and hold back the butt cleavage that's escaping from your jeans. <laughs> I used to find those people at Walmart emails funny. You guys ever get those? Oh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I don't find them funny anymore be- because that's us. <laughs> I mean, go ahead and deny it, but it's true because if it wasn't, nobody would buy Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> but they're the most popular shoe in the country because of one reason. People don't care if they look like morons as long as they look com- as long as they're comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, Chad. Thanks for the rant, buddy. Hey, where are you at? To- you got a show you're producing yourself, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Um, on July 31st, called Sit Down, Stand Up, Anything Goes shows. Um, I lined it up with a couple other comics, and uh, we picked everybody ourselves. It's going to be a really good show. And we'll talk to you again before then, but uh, that's at the Edge Comedy Club on July 31st, right? Yes, it is. All right, buddy. We'll talk to you soon.